एपिडेमियोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ द इवेंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट वॉट इज इवेंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इट इज एन इवेंट दैट कैन डू लार्ज गुड और लार्ज बैड टू लार्ज नंबर इन मेडिसन वी स्टडी द क्रोनोलॉजी और द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द अकरेंस ऑफ सच इवेंट्स बिकॉज दे आर इवेंट्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट so see this this is called as a biological model in the population normal are getting converted to disease the disease may die get disabled or get cured and become normal again so this is occurring continuously in the population and the red arrows normal to disease disease to death disease to disability we want to prevent and the green arrows disease to cure and that back to normal we want to promote each arrow can be depicted by a transition rate and this transition rate is controlled by factors which promote it or break it so there are accelerators and there are breaks out of all these factors some are modifiable and the modifiable we can modify to get results in the population which are best for that population any modification has costs has risks so we want to choose the logistically most simple least costly method of modifying the risk factors so that is what is management of epidemiology so now let us start understanding these rates here you see a jar this jar is a 1000 cc jar it is filled with 100 cc of water now we are adding water at 2 cc per minute and we are subtracting water at 1 cc per minute therefore if i ask you how long will the volume become 110 cc you can immediately say it is 10 minutes if you can put it into a formula you can say volume at time t or vt will be equal at volume at time 0 which is 100 plus time which we are trying to calculate which we have said 10 minutes into addition rate 2 cc minus subtraction rate 1 cc so this formula explains the volume at time t and it is volume at time t that you will have to prepare for that you will have to generate resources to manage now convert the v into p you will get prevalence at time t is equal to prevalence at time 0 plus time into incidence rate minus attrition rate now what are the causes of attrition attrition is because of death because of migration because of loss to follow up because of cure if in some diseases there is no attrition for example if a diabetic has diabetes so there the attrition rate is zero and therefore you take incidence rate only in such formulas here you understand that incidence is new per unit time 10 1 2 per unit time so 10 would become disease from 100 normal in one year all right so 10 upon 100 per year is 10 person years is the incidence rate in 5 years if if there is no attrition they will be 50 upon 100 this is called as cumulative incidence let us say cumulative incidence 
over five years. How many patients would die? How many patients would survive if they are diagnosed as breast cancer in five years? That's what the patient is interested in. Now, all this time is always calculated from the time of detection. This time is calculated from the time of detection. But the person has disease before that detection. So this is called as the lead time. And because we all patients are not detected at the same time, that is why all these calculations can go awry. That bias is called as lead time bias. But the rate of EOI can also vary from year to year. So we can't say that it is constant. It's not a straight line. It can be more or less. Ultimately, you may get the same. But let us try to therefore denote it by a survival curve. Here in this curve you find that there were 100 patients. At the end of one year there were 90. At the end of second year there were 50. At the end of third year there were 30. And at the end of fourth year they were only 10. So, if we try to find out at each year what happened. So in the first year, 90 survived the first year. So 90 out of 100 survived. 100 were at the risk of dying, 90 survived. And so the first year, 90 survived the first year out of 100. Therefore, risk is, chance of survival is 90 upon 100. But the odds of survival is 90 upon 10. In the odds, the denominator does not contain the numerator. In the second year, 50 survived out of 40, 40 died out of 90. So, chance is 50 upon 90 and odds are 50 upon 40. Similarly, we do it over all three years, right? At five years, you see, we can do the same thing, chance and odds over all time. At five years, 20 were surviving. So, we will call it that the five-year survival is 20%. 20 and at third year, 50% were surviving. Therefore, the median survival time was 3 years. So, you have understood the difference between median survival and 5 year survival. Now, supposing in the first year, in the first year, 5 were lost to follow up. 5 we could not follow up. Lost to follow up. Therefore, this base number would become 85. So, these 5 are called as censored. And here the table would become thus, 85 would become the denominator. 40 would have survived, 45 would have died. 5 we do not know. Lost to follow up. So, there is a method of controlling loss to follow up in a survival curve and that is known as censoring and those that data is called as censored. Now let us start comparing two curves. Supposing you are saying whether male survived more or female survived more. So you are trying to relate one variable to survival. Alright. So this is called as univariate analysis. This is called as univariate analysis. Okay. So we draw two curves. In the first year, 90 survived in the white curve 
and 70 survived in the red curve. In the second year, 50 survived in the white curve and 40 survived in the red curve. Therefore, we will have these two, these two tables, 90, 10, 100 and 70, 30, 100 would become a 2 by 2 table. And here we will be able to compare the chance of survival in the white group and chance of survival in the red group giving us risk ratio and odds of survival in the white group and odds of survival in the red group giving us a odds ratio. And thus we will have risk ratio and odds ratios over the five years, over all the four years. And we can use stat calc to find out the mantle Hansel adjusted odds ratios or risk ratios over time, keeping the time constant. This is called as stratified analysis. Here the strata is first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. Then there can be a situation when we want to come, uh, find out the effect of many factors like age, like sex, like uh, histological grading and that. So in that you use what is called as the Cox proportionate hazard model which gives us a hazard ratio. Now, this hazard ratio is exactly the same as odds ratio. So, here survival is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 dash 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 beta n xn. Exponential of beta is the hazard ratio or the odds ratio. And for variables x1 to xn. And this is adjusted. That means it is telling you the relationship of x1 to survival time keeping all other variables constant. Now you understand the first year only. So in the first year the drop from 100 to 90 was not on the last day. It occurred during the year. And so the the curve is not sudden, it is stepwise. Now the stepwise which records the actual time of occurrence of an event is called as actuarial survival curve. Okay. Here time is not categorical, one year, two year. Here the time becomes a continuous variable. So this is the time distribution of an event. Epidemiology is the study of the distribution and determinants of disease. The distribution is time, place, person. What occurred? When did it occur? In whom did it occur? Why did it occur? And then what? What should we do? 